Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're told that biologists have noticed that the chirping rate of crickets of a certain species is related to temperature, and the relationship appears to be very nearly linear. A cricket produces 113 chirps per minute at 70 degrees Fahrenheit, and 173 chirps per minute at 80 degrees Fahrenheit. First, we're asked to find a linear equation that models the temperature T as a function of the number of chirps per minute n. So first, let's get some points, which are n, number of chirps, t. t is the y variable here because it's in terms of n, the x variable. So at 70 degrees Fahrenheit, we have 113 chirps per minute. So that's 113, 70. And 173 chirps per minute at 80 degrees Fahrenheit. 173, 80. We're looking to find a linear equation so we can start with the slope which is the change in the dependent variable, t, 80 minus 70, divided by the change in n, the independent variable, 173 minus 113. 80 minus 70 is 10, 173 minus 113 is 60, so therefore the slope is 1 sixth. Now we need the y-intercept. So if we have y is equal to mx plus b, we plug in, at, we plug in m, excuse me, y equals 1 sixth x plus b, now we can plug in the value of one of our points, 80 equals 1 sixth times 173 plus b to solve now for b. This is 173 over 6. We want to subtract, so let's turn this into sixth. 80 times 6 is 480, so this is 480 over 6 plus b. Therefore, b is equal to 480 minus 173 which is 200, excuse me, 307 divided by six. Therefore, our function is t, I should be using t and n, t is equal to 1 sixth x plus 300, sorry, t and n, 1 sixth n plus 307 over six. This is our function. B, what is the slope of the graph and what does it represent? Well, the slope is the coefficient of m, 1 sixth, and is the rate of change of t over n. So there's the change in temperature per chirp. So if you increase in one chirp, we go up by one sixth of a degree Fahrenheit. And C, the crickets are chirping at 150 chirps per minute. Estimate the temperature. This is just T when N, one sixth times N is 150 plus 307 over six. 150 over six plus 307 over six is equal to 457 divided by six. This we can just approximate, it's not necessary, but 457 divided by six is, actually we don't have to approximate, we can just say 76th and 1 6th degrees Fahrenheit. So for this particular um, function, this relation that we found between chirps per minute and temperature, this is the function that models it. This is the slope and what we can actually interpret about it. And this is the temperature that we would expect if the crickets are chirping at 150 chirps per minute.